What a look you just gave me. Are we starting right now? We're starting right now. Right now. This is the moment we're beginning while I'm holding your... What was that face you just gave me? It's a face of, I got a million things on my mind right now. Focus. Intensity. That it's is, time. That is my focus face. Play. Laundry. Going. We've never done an intro right here at the laundry, but folks... This is, uh, this is our last day before leaving for a, a quite a while. And this is my last video that's gonna be going up for a while. So we got a home vlog here for you today. We're packing up, getting ready to leave for the enchanted Colorado. Mm -hmm. Monster fishing, camping, trip. Been looking forward to it forever. So what are you doing, honey? Uh, well, right now I'm just putting your clothes away. <laughs> Look, how many Guggen clothing items do you wash in a week typically? That's all you wear. I probably wear the boat shorts. Those are. Uh, these are actually yeah, not Guggen. Yeah, these are not. I, I threw rare, those in the mix. A rare non Guggen pair. But there. these right here, I, I wear those pretty much every day. I probably wash, no kidding, probably about 30 pair a week. 30 pair a week? Yes! I probably only wear three pair a week. No. Are you kidding me? Three pair a week. No! Have you checked I mean, there's your a stash? There's a maximum of seven. No. So there's no way there's no, 30. No, you have. Well, I wash them over and over again. I probably do your laundry twice a week. I, okay, you'd have to and wash each... those shorts three times a day. No, you have more than that. Do you want? Do you want to go check? Let's check. Okay. Well, you've also packed some, and you're wearing one. Do you yeah, have any? How packed? does that add up to twenty a week? There's no way the yeah. math isn't there. It's there. I promise you. <laughs> twenty pairs of boat shorts you a week. Do the laundry? I don't even own twenty pairs. Yes, a week. you do. No, I do not. Okay, you own ten, at least ten. And then I do your laundry twice a week. There's 20 right there. Well, I do two loads of laundry. But I, I would have to take them off during the day, throw them in there, and then you'd have to wash them again that night. Listen, how many pairs You're of losing. shorts? No, You're how, losing. Why are we Going arguing through. about this? Because you are wrong on this matter. The woman is never wrong. All right. We'll go with woman math on this mm -hmm. one. Just don't let her do the taxes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, boys, I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't need to be on a shiitake mushroom list before we head out here, so I shouldn't even argue, okay? I'm going to go apologize. Why, hey. Why do you whisper your uh, I was just saying, uh, I, I just wanted to apologize for arguing. Hmm, okay, thank I don't you. Want, I don't want to start the trip off that way, mm -hmm. so. I just want to say thank you for doing actually doing my laundry, mm -hmm. even if it is 20 times a week. Because mm -hmm. you don't do shorts. the laundry, I do. That's correct. That is correct. You'd be a very I just realized man. that in my man brain, and I just wanted to apologize. Thank you. So some folks, when they go camping, they rough it a little bit, you know? Uh, and I do that sometimes. Other folks, they go, they go eating. They, they gain weight when they're camping, mm -hmm. which is... Is, is highly possible, and um, on this trip, we're gonna try to do that. We have one big refrigerator that is in our camper, and we have the baskets for it right here, and we're gonna try to load everything for four persons in this. Four persons for, gosh, over 10 days? Yeah, I really, yeah. I really hope that it all fits in here. I really don't know. I just keep prepping. Like, I've been prepping for food So for show everybody what, you, what you've done, so. Uh, in order to save time, because when you're camping, you want to enjoy it. You know, yes. I don't want to be, I like to cook, but I don't want to be cooking like all day, all the time, constantly having to worry about it. So Stephanie has gone ahead and actually cooked and frozen things. Um, so would you like to see what's on the menu? I would. I would We've really got like to see. burgers that those are your, uh, deer. I don't know if they're deer or elk, but they're your... Burgers. Some sort of ungulate burger. Went ahead and seasoned them. The, the them. extra mile. <laughs> yep. These are not cooked. No. It's just their patty form. Uh, here's some plain rice. In case you want to throw out some chicken. Already, already cooked. cooked. Already cooked. Good to go. Here's some pulled pork. Already has the sauce on it. Already cooked. Wabam. Uh, here is some white chicken chili. Already cooked. That, is, that is amazing. Um, White chicken chili, that is going to be so fantastic when it's cold. Here's marinated chicken thighs. These are not cooked, so this would be like the only meal that we actually need to cook. Okay, and we got that cast iron. Mm-hmm. A lock, Dutch oven. Here is the regular deer chili with cornbread. Who? Oh, even got that cornbread mm -hmm. on deck, ready to go now. Um, here is a fresh rotisserie chicken. 
that you can have for lunch, maybe with the rice. Options. We've got options here. Man, okay, you actually cooked more than I thought you did. Oh yeah, we're not going hungry. Here's two packs of bacon. Gotta have that bacon. Um, prepped mac and cheese. Always mac and cheese. Kids gotta have it. Kids gotta have that. Kids gotta have that mac and cheese. Prepped cinnamon rolls. You already know. that These are OSG's famous cinnamon rolls right here. Donuts. And we got Cheater Donuts. Yeah. These donuts are actually really good. I, I don't know how good they are for you. Yeah, they're definitely not. But um, they're super easy and, and delicious with the coffee in the morning. Kids like them. We're still going. <laughs> hot dogs. Hot dogs coming out. What, what are these? Wiener? Barbecue mini wieners? Yeah, these are. Um, they're fully cooked, so lunch. Easy th to throw together lunch. Easy peasy wieners. Um, these are pre-boiled potatoes, so that they can cook up really fast. Oh, heck yeah. Because potatoes always take a long time. Yeah, can, so I already you know cut them. Pre-boiled them. They do need seasoning. And I got two of those. One for like pulled pork, one for... I don't know. Another lunch? Oh, yeah. More potatoes. With, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh, We're still going. <laughs> We've got uh, pumpkin muffins. Well, there's only four. There's only four well, pumpkin no, muffins. No, 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 there's not. There's eight. There's just in individual Ten. packs. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, there's hash browns for breakfast. I oh, think I'm yeah. only going to bring one packet. Okay, that's smart. No, I like it. Um, I like it. Got the icing. Here's the icing for Can't, the cinnamon rolls. Do not forget rolls. that icing. I don't know if that's all going to fit in there. I know. That's why I'm like, I'm freaking out. <laughs> We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Um, I was going to bring some deer sausage for breakfast. And then we also got uh, fish. Are we going to bring fish or are you going to catch fish? We uh, might not be able to bring it. Uh, here's the deal. It, we need to pack all this in here. So let's see if it fits. If we can fit fish, let's bring it. If not... We're just gonna have to provide. Yeah. And you know, you know, your boy's gonna provide. All right. We're gonna be out there. I got, I got so many. I'm bringing more fishing equipment than I ever have on this trip. I'm so excited for it. But we have um, frozen uh, blue catfish and crappies. Uh, got a lot. We got a lot of fish. Yeah. And that's just the frozen stuff. And I've got other. And then, and stuff. this was not in one day. It's not like you whipped all this up in one day. No. This is over the course of a few weeks and yeah. these are actually parts of dinners that yeah. we've had so you've just gone ahead and cooked extra yeah. on a dinner and that way you're not rushing to do all this in one day it kind of makes it easy so yeah. i think you've, you've made a beautiful uh dinner and lunch selection here thank you and we are going to be remote camping if you guys have seen the videos before uh, i'll have a link here where you can go check out some of the other ones but it's a it's awesome, but you are remote. There is no hey, let's let's go Chili's tonight, get a couple margs, honey. You know they got they got a special deal gun. So we've got a Dometic um, fr uh, freezer cooler, so it, it can run. It's got two sides, so we can run both freezer or both fridge or one of each. So I would yeah, I would I would go with like cold, things that are going to be colder and later in the week. You want to keep colder longer. Put them on the bottom and then things you'll access uh quicker up top that, that maybe you want to thaw out quicker gotta eat good in the woods uh burn a lot of calories up there but we're here to have a good time and i'm hopefully going to catch my pb brown trout while i'm up there pb brown trouts deserve some pb brown waters and while we were up in tennessee a few weeks ago uh visiting the music city bass fishing team we went to the Greenbrier Distillery that makes the Nelson Brothers uh, whiskey. They also have a, a, a bourbon, and I tried their reserve bourbon. 107 proof, lights you up on fire, but it was one of the, uh, the most complex flavored bourbons I'd ever had. I thought it was delicious uh, and really not that expensive for the taste. I, I, was, I was not blown away, but I was very impressed for the price. So went ahead and picked that up, and that's going to be our our brown water for the trip. Fit in there good. Look, you can just like, hey, chili, or do you want marinated chicken, or oh, you want and pulled pork? Up top, oh, <laughs> pro move. I mean. That's elite. This is like, by the fifth time that you go out there, you kind of got things on lockdown. That is elite uh, food packing right there. Let's get the most out of it. Uh, also, by the way, if you guys know, if you guys know any other sneaky little brown waters that are, are good for the money, like under 50 bucks or 60 bucks, comment down below. Let it, let everybody know. Pick that up. See if you can pick that thing up. How heavy is that? 
Nicely done, sweetheart. Thank that would have been much more difficult had those things not been frozen and vacuum sealed. Yeah. So. Well, in the way that I froze them, I laid them down flat so that I could stack them in there. You knew. Oh, you had a visual. I'm actually pretty proud. All right. That's elite. <laughs> Moving on to fridge items. We gotta have Ben's little yogurt, so I'm gonna have to break these down. My goodness. I wish I and all parents will understand. Look at look at look at the yogurts. Yeah, the yogurts. These are awesome. now uh I hate to admit this, but this is like one of the easiest ways to hush a kid up real quick. They're crying. Pouch, it's like a pouch them right. up. You pout you parents, you know what we're talking about right now. And quite honestly, they just need to quit with these things and come out with like a camelback system or a <laughs> A big gallon system. It's like a, it's like a, a waterer. You just sit on the side of the crib, and boom, you just latch that on. Have a hose where they can just. Psh, it's like a Slurpee because kids eat so much yogurt. I don't know how much money we spend on yogurt, but it's, it's not. We don't have enough sponsorships on this channel <laughs> to even afford the yogurt that we go through. I will not be doing that. You're I'll not gonna eat vegetables with you? No, 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 not really. Come not on. Really. No. I, I, you always eat salads while we're up there. At least I, I will. I will, but like if I was camping by myself, there would no, there wouldn't even be anything green in there. I would have something pickled like this. Mm -hmm. I always feel like I have when I have a um, a pickled item, some vinegar. It's good for your body. And we all, all we can't forget the all natural. Our eggs, our egg production, it's down right now. It's down. We got a broody, and it's just been so hot, so we're mostly just getting our our blue, our Easter eggers. The thing that's different is that we have to bring so many diapers, which takes I a know. ton of room. I wish you didn't have to wear diapers. Me too. This is Ben's initiation into the wild. Two years old. It's become family tradition now. It has two years old. Two years old. You got You got to venture out to the woods uh, remotely if you want to be in the family. If you can't hack it, you know we'll replace you. So show everybody my cabinetry. The yeah. cabinetry work. Let's see. Is your light on? Oh, look how good. We did all right. We did all right. We did all right. So uh, it came with just this shelf right here. So we added um, some three-quarter inch plywood uh, dividers and we did pocket holes did pocket holes on the sides to mount that and then I did some LED lighting in there as well which was really cheap and very effective and I ran that off of a, a little wiring from DC uh, for our USB charger on the other side I already had that so I ran that on some Wago uh, connectors, and then I ran that switch in there as well. See in there. I was like, "Honey, do I do I really need to put lighting in I here?" Know, you were kind of you were you were wishing that I said no, like no, it's okay, we didn't have to do it. But I said, I think we'll both appreciate it if you do. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, and so it um, took it it took me a little while. That was one of those things where like, I can't see, I gotta get to the coffee, dadgummit. I need to, I need to get the juice flowing and we Maybe couldn't we see mean. anything in there. We're pulling things out and we have an outer latch now. That's true. Locks so it down so things out. won't fall out. So uh, last year when we went camping, just about everything fell out of the pantry when we were going down the, the back roads. The, they swung open, so we, we've, we've upgraded. We've upgraded every year. You know what something. you're gonna need to do next year? You're gonna need to put a net. I'm not gonna tell you this. A net from like here to there, so that whatever child is up here, we can lock them in at night and they can't fall out. Well, we already got some curtains. We got some like airline. A curtain curtains. is not gonna keep them from falling yeah, out. We, listen, we got listen. a daughter who sleepwalks. I've She's got, gonna fall out of I that do. thing. I've got plenty of paracord. We'll figure it out. If it was just you and me, we could have taken off like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> Get a grouse in the woods, a couple of trout, and be all right. Yeah, Lee, they gotta have their packs, they gotta have their snacks, they gotta have their little Every, little munchies. Well, yeah, if you want them, if you want a comfortable experience with kids, you gotta make them comfortable. It's the whole. That's the sad yes, truth. Of, yeah, it's kind of like bringing your wife. You gotta make things comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Don't we all know? <laughs> you guys have probably seen some of my videos where I'm like solo camping in the back of my truck or 
you know, backpack hunting or staying at the deer lease. And it's, it's super minimalistic. The reason I have this thing, it's because of that sweet lady in there. Alright, so we got the pantry all packed up, and normally I would take a smaller pack than this, but because I am filming everything and I have kids now, two of them are going to the woods with me, I gotta carry extra stuff if we're going hiking, uh, and they're coming, coming along the river fishing with me and all that, so this is gonna be the pack I'm taking. Now something I added to uh, my pack setup for this year um, for hunting season and just camping is this uh, really cool grail jug. OSG actually got me this. It's a, it's a little heavy, you know, for backpacking, but I'm used to carrying extra equipment for filming and all that, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but this is a filter all built into a cup. So well, nice thing about mountain camping is you're usually around some sort of water source, so just find you some, some moving water uh, put it in here and you can filter it using this cup so that way I don't have to sit there with the uh, I've always used like the Sawyer device sit there put it into one of these um, now I can just filter it right into this and I'm gonna carry probably one extra jug just to have um, even more water or a bladder uh, speaking of water this is a uh, water that we're taking in right here that is a 20 liter and we'll, we'll get into that after we go through this four gallon jug right here my experience each person first few days will drink about three quarters of a gallon to a gallon of water every day so you're gonna we're definitely gonna run out we'll have to go get water filter water but when we first start I put it in this jug right here. And I, I like using this jug. It's easy to get outside. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. I came to bring you more things. <laughs> more things. Hey, too. actually, you found that this morning and said. I did. I, I, I actually said maybe this would be a good idea to put in the kids' toy box, which mm -hmm. is significantly grown this year <laughs> yes. um, but I found this by the lake it was gonna be trash so I thought you know it's collapsible kids can play mm -hmm. well this is what ball. happens when you give me a bigger box than I originally planned for it gives me more space and then, and then I you just end fill up it. filling it up right a trick you got to give the woman a smaller space so that I'm more limited uh, well I, I gave you a camper and you're I filled it you right were filling it. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are wondering about the weight of the trailer it is Around 6,500 pounds dry, you know, once we get everything in there, it's probably pushing about 8,000 pounds with water and all the gear. So, uh, I think the max towing on this particular engine tow package is 9,000. I know. And the, the gasoline is like 12,000, but on this particular 3.0 diesel, they say 9,000, which doesn't make sense why it would go down with the diesel. However, I will say, I get around 13 to 14 miles to the gallon using uh, this diesel engine with everything loaded down. That's pretty good. You frequent campers that love breakfast, so I'm gonna show you a little hack right now we've been doing for a few years. Kids, you wanna help me get some eggs? Ben, you can't, you can't go in there, you don't have shoes, buddy. I do. Look at all these roosters. These pesky little roosters. Come on in. Oh, uh, I don't want my go going to get my sister Johnny. Okay, all right. Well, I'll get them. Daddy will get them. We got misters going on the chickens. Come on, ben. It's gonna be so hot tomorrow. And old Barry White has gone back to broody mode, which is unfortunate. Which means she loves to sit on eggs. Sorry, girl. Sorry. So, getting uh, getting about three eggs a day. And with the ones we got right now, it's gonna make a baker's dozen, most likely. What are you looking at, big boy? You're gonna be breasted out here in another month. 
Don't look at me like that. Better keep them in check, Colonel. Sitting up right here. Benjamin Rackley, you're in big trouble. Did you do a no-no? Is that bad? Yeah. What did he do? Well, I, he was insistent on holding one. I kept saying, be gentle, be gentle. Please don't break it. Please don't break it. And he takes both yeah. of his fingers and yep. just cracks it. Because he sees us do it. It's just part of learning at the treehouse. I'm down one egg, but we'll still make it. Okay. Now you can crack the egg, so. <laughs> A full circle example. <laughs> He's okay now. He's okay now. Just, yeah, give him his pacifier Pouch pouch. So, what we normally do, we have one less egg now, sorry. One morning you're just gonna have to suffer. That's fine. Um, crack them all in one bowl. Go ahead and whisk them up like you would scrambled eggs. Get a funnel and we're gonna put it in here. So all you have to do when you are ready to make some scrambled eggs in the morning is just open it up. Blub, 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 blub. Now, we're, this is cool. Where did where did you get these? My dad got these for me. Um, probably off Amazon. Um, probably, but they were to go with uh, make your own juice juice juices. Yeah, yeah, they're originally designed for juices. Yes, but we use them for eggs. I've used them. Yeah, they're perfect for camping or traveling. Um, they're glass. They're easy to clean. It's the perfect size. We've used them for eggs. I have the inside milk. Brought our little milk for the grits. Yeah. Some yeah, if you don't want to carry a full gallon jug, don't have room for it. Mm -hmm. Those are those are pretty nice and they're uh BPA free, mm -hmm. all natural, full granola. Alright, let's see if you can do a full mom mode crack. With one hand? Mama in the kitchen with a baby on a hip, crapping their eggs and here and here. Look at that. We actually have less calcium in our eggs right now because we've been I've been feeding Ooh. half and half Ooh. feed. Not good. Yeah, they're uh yeah, they're, they're a little thinner than usual. Well, that's why it cracked so easily with Ben. He was... And uh, we refeed our eggshells to the chickens. We just let them eat their own eggshells again. Okay, let's try another. I'm oh. thinking we probably need to go put the baby down. <laughs> You got those little eye eye fingers. <laughs> I used to be there. able to do this. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And that's great. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to go. No, there's no way they're going to go in that funnel. That's my whiskey flask funnel right there. Oh, where's the other funnel? She gone. She's in the kids. Toy box, I buy it again. I think it is, yeah. It's in the fan box. Just showcasing. This is like the mom skills challenge. Look at that. She's got it. Ooh. Emmy, do not bump my arm. I'm not trying to. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be perfect. We couldn't even add more eggs if we wanted to. Thanks, Ben, for crack. Oh. Look good, see? See, it's all good. Yay! Yay! We didn't need that extra egg. Perfect. Yay! Yay! Now you don't want to drink it like orange juice. Mmm, OJ. <laughs> Dad, do not drink that. That's eggs. And how much do you like eggs? I do not like eggs at all. Why? Because I don't like the smell of eggs. You know, your mom ate like three to five eggs a day. <laughs> a day. Whoa! When you were what? in her tummy, so it's probably why you don't like eggs. She got a, she got overcome. Yeah, she's probably. Don't you even it. do it. Don't you even think about getting sick. He's, he's there. They went to school one day. <laughs> he was like, "Leave me alone, Dad. You just got this news." Well, Danglers, we're all set. We're packed to the gills. This is going to be Ben's initiation into the woods first time camping as a family of four and it's going to be an absolute adventure i cannot wait i've been thinking about this all year long we look forward to it but i'm going to do more fishing on this trip than i ever have it's just going to be so much fun so you guys stay tuned and i'm not going to be back till about a week from when you see this video we're going to go ham 
we're going to come back with some absolute banger videos. So subscribe right here to the channel. Wish us good luck on our journey. And I'll see you guys back in the great outdoors on the next one.